Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what we want to look at is how to combine the OR function with the IF function. So OR is another function you layer into your IF function if you have multiple conditions. And basically the answer is yes, if any of the conditions are met. Like see over here, I've got this one. Um, the syntax for that and the AND function are very similar, but AND means that all conditions must be met. So I click over here where I want the answer to go. Come up to my formulas. And then I just get down here to my logical and I just start with my if function. All right. And when the if function comes in, the first thing I do is that in the logical test, I start with my or function. So I type in or open left bracket. And the conditions I have up here, basically if an employee reaches or exceeds their sales target figure, so that means basically if their actual sales are greater than or equal to their target sales. I then to go on to the next condition, I put in a comma. And the second one then is that if they've generated 500 or more of new client business. So then if new client business is greater than or equal to 500, which I have up here, don't forget to press my F4. And then I close my brackets. Now I think you can specify up to 255 conditions that should cover you for most things. Now I then go down to the next step of the stairs, value of true, which is here. So if that is true, so if either of those conditions are fired up, they're going to get 5% of their actual sales figure. So that means actual sales multiplied by my 5% up here, and then I need to press F4 to lock it. Otherwise, they're going to get zero. And notice here, I'm putting zero in here because if I don't put zero in here, I leave blank, Excel will return false. And then I click OK, and then I can just do a quick double check, just to double click on it. There we go, and that gives it there. Okay. So you can see, for example, here, our actual sales are greater than that, and they've got this made up of commission here as well. Okay. So um, I hope you find this useful, and just remember, use the AND function in exactly the same way. Open your brackets, put in comma to separate each of the conditions, and take it from there. Mind yourself.